Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to adjust the brightness on a Casio Scientific Calculator. This will be an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. So let's say you want to adjust the brightness or the contrast, as we like to call it in calculator terms, okay? You want to make it brighter or darker, lighter or darker. Very, very easy to do, okay? So essentially, you want to find on your Casio Scientific Calculator, you want to find the setup option. <clears throat> so if you take a look over here, my setup option is this button in the yellow format. So I'm going to push Shift because Shift Shift is the yellow option, and I'm going to push this button to get to the setup option. Now you're going to look here, and essentially you might see something that says con or, or cont for contrast or bright for brightness, okay? And if you don't see it, you want to go to the next screen. So you can push mode again on some calculators, but this one has arrows, so I'm going to push the down arrow, and as you can see, number seven says cont, and it shows a right arrow and a left arrow, so it's contrast increasing or decreasing. So I'm going to push number seven, okay? Now it says contrast. If I want it to go darker, I push the right arrow, just like this. So I can push the right arrow, and as you can see, it's getting darker. If I want it to go lighter, I push the left arrow, and it's getting lighter, just like that. You can continue going as, as light as you want, okay? So let's say I wanted it to be that level of contrast. I'm good to go. I can push all clear, and I now have that lighter contrast. If I want to go back at a later time and darken it up, I go shift, set up over here. You can see it's quite light, like I can barely see it. I'm going to go down. Number seven, once again, is contrast. Here's number seven. And I'm going to go darker over here. And that's about where I like it to be. And I'm going to hit all clear. And we're good to go. That's how to adjust the contrast or the brightness on a Casio Scientific Calculator. This is the model of the calculator that I'm using. Yours might be slightly different, but the process is going to be very, very similar. So you can probably take these instructions and use them directly. If not, just, you know, slightly change them to make sense with your own specific scientific calculator keypad. And that is essentially it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.